What up, boys? So this is gonna be the second talent video, and this one is about max level talents. And I played with some different talents before, and I changed to this, and I really like this spec, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about it and why I like it, and my thought process behind taking certain talents, not taking others, and hopefully you'll you'll see my reasoning and uh, and like this spec too. I think it's generally a very balanced spec and you'll be able to do most of your 60 chores and deeds and anything you want to do. It, you, you can do with this spec bar PvP. It's not ideal for PvP. There's some things that you want to take for PvP that are slightly different. Uh, but we're still in phase phase 1. No honor yet. Once phase 2 hits and uh, I start PvPing a bit more, I'll probably change up but for now, this is uh, a solid PvE spec all round. So, let's take a look at the talents real quick. So, originally I had five in Unbreakable Will. And this is probably the, the better of the two in general. But the way that Classic is at the moment, there's not that much damage going around in dungeons. There's not that much damage going around in raids. You do get a little bit of spare time to wand, and this is just going to give that more value. So I switched over and I put 5 into wand spec. Uh, I also originally had 5 in silent resolve, and honestly, you shouldn't need it. If your tank is remotely competent, you shouldn't need it. You shouldn't be getting aggro. If you do, you have fade. The reason I have 1 point in it is because everything else is pretty much useless, and we need to get to the next tier from here. This only has 4 talents. Um, so we have 1 in it. And we save the other four for later. So we go two imp, imp four, three imp powered shield. Shouldn't need martyrdom, shouldn't be getting hit. Then we obviously take inner focus and, and meditation, that's staple. Mental agility is staple. And then you have the options of imp, inner fire, and imp mana burn. I mean, they're more PvP talents, uh, which we're not looking at at the moment. So we skip those and we go down, we take five mental strength and obviously one in, in uh, sorry, in, in divine spirit. Very solid talent. Get a lot of spirit for free out of that. 40 spirit, nothing to sneeze at. Uh, and then we use those four points that we saved up here, we use them in Force of Will. Now this is going to give you 4% more damage on your spells and 4% more crit on your offensive spells. Uh, which is actually really good value in terms of talents. And this is going to help you out in the world. It's going to help you uh, when you don't have that much healing to do and you can just smite a little bit. Um, you can throw out some Mind Blasts. It's just generally a, a decent talent to have, and it's going to make you stronger offensively while not actually paying for it at all in any way because you shouldn't need this anyway. Um, so it's essentially free damage. And then PI. And the reason we go PI over Deep Holy is, again, for the same reason, there's not that much damage going around in the game. So these talents are not as, as imperative. You can heal most stuff with no problem whatsoever um, without going in. So I would definitely recommend going PI over this, just so that you can clear stuff fast. You chuck it on a mage, you chuck it on a warlock uh, when they're AOEing, and yeah, you're just gonna you're gonna clear content quicker, and you're gonna farm gear faster, and you're just gonna have a better time overall. You can use it on yourself as well while out in the world and and kill mobs faster if you're if you're grinding stuff or if you're going around mining and you get aggro of something you want to kill it, anything like that. So 100% go for PI. I recommend it. It's a lot of fun. So now into holy. So two out of two healing focus in general is, is just a good investment. If you do get aggro or you have mobs on you or you have anything on you, this is gonna be this is gonna avoid a lot of pushback. And it's just really good value um for two talent points. Um even though you're not going to get hit most of the time when you do get hit, you're going to hate yourself if you don't have this. So you get two healing focus. And you actually skip Imp Renew. And the only people that really want to get Imp Renew is main tank healers. Because Imp Renew actually doesn't scale with bonus healing. The extra healing on the Renew that you gain from this, that extra healing doesn't scale. Uh, it's flat. So this actually loses value the more bonus healing that you get. Uh, so we put our points into crit. And we put three in that. And the reason there's four in that is, again, because we have to get past this layer where there's only four talents. So we put that extra point in Holy Spec. 
And then we go five out of five Divine Fury. Again, pretty staple talent. You don't really want to want to run without this. Uh, you can have a bad time. And then I put one in Holy Nova just for general clearing. Uh, you can use rank one to get rogues out. Uh, just a, a solid, solid ability to be grabbing for one point. It's not going to be useful all the time, but you can you can help out Mage's AoE with it. You can help out Warlock's AoE with it as well. Um, if you've got a got a spare bit of mana, be careful. It costs a lot. Max rank costs six hundred and seventy five mana, so you can't just go around spamming it like crazy. If you if you're going for AoE clear, it's not going to be enough to AoE mobs down or anything like that. It's more of a, a utility AoE than than pure damage like the mages. Having said that, it's still worth taking with a point. And then inspiration is considering the the crit you've just got synergizes quite nicely. Um, when you do crit, any of your your heals, flashes, graters, whatever. If you do that on the tank, they're going to get a bunch more tankiness. It's a decent talent, definitely worth taking. Blessed Recovery. Honestly, don't think I'm even going to take it in PvP. Maybe I'll take one point in PvP, but for PvE, definitely not. Uh, and then you take Improved Healing, which is the, the the last one, the reason you're coming down into Holy here. Uh, it's mainly for these two talent points. So Improved Healing, very nice talent. Um, just generally gives you better mana efficiency. Um, you know, you can go for more big greater heals uh, to be as efficient as possible. Same thing for heal. And then the last two talent points, you kind of have two options. So you've got Holy Reach, which is probably better for raids. Um, but the more gear people get, the less healing they're going to need. The faster you're going to clear stuff in raids, the more you're going to be smiting. Um, so, yeah. Holy Reach is, is nice early on, I guess. Uh, just because it's going to allow you to prayer of healing your groups more on certain certain uh, encounters and stuff like that where people are taking AoE damage. Having said that, there's not that much of that. I don't actually find myself using prayer of healing that much in raids. Um, so I'd say it's, this is okay, but uh, personally I prefer Searing Light. It just gives you a bit more versatility in terms of you can use this around the world, you can use it in dungeons, you know, you can use it all, all kinds of times. When you don't have to heal that much and you can bust out some smites, this is a, it's a handy one to grab for the those two kind of free talent points that don't really matter that much. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where the spec ends, and you don't really lose anything to get this. You don't really lose anything to get this extra point. Uh, they both come out of Imp Renew, which you don't need. Um, yeah, it's going to increase your healing with Renew a little bit. And I'd say potentially you can go Imp Renew uh, right as you've, you've dinged 60 to get a bit more healing. Um, but when you have no healing, bear in mind that Renew is not efficient. With no healing, Renew is about as efficient as a Flash Heal. Um, and it gains efficiency the more healing that you gain as it scales quite well. Um, so that's that's kind of how that talent works. Uh, spell warding can be nice to have. Personally, I prefer more offensive stuff than defensive stuff. Um, but yeah, that's just me. Um, so yeah, that's kind of your options here. Uh, you won't be able to get down to any further talents. Um, and yeah, if you did go further into holy, you could potentially grab this and this. Again, I don't think there's much stuff that actually requires prayer of healing at the moment. Maybe later in further phases, but right now, uh, there's not that much raid damage that goes out on on especially if you're in like the caster and, and healer groups. Uh, it's more like melee groups that kind of suffer a lot more of the AOE damage at the moment in Molten Core and uh, Elixir and that. So I'd say this is probably not not needed at this point. Uh, potentially later, we'll see. Right now, I think PI is definitely the way to go. So yeah, that's that's the spec. It's it's kind of a nice balance of offensive and defensive uh, without actually losing anything for the offensive portion of it. So I, I like it because of that. Uh, I will do another talent video once Phase 2 comes out or nearing Phase 2 uh, when I um, get a bit more of a feel for it and what sort of PvP talents I want to take and pick up. It'll probably feature a bit more improved mana burn, imp in a fire, martyrdom, stuff like that, unbreakable will. Uh, switching some talents out for those. Um, probably see similar stuff in disc uh, sorry in holy not too much to change there I don't think um, but yeah we'll see uh, when we get to it so yeah that's it for now I hope you like the spec uh, give it a try and, and let me know what you think